Eve, but we are on the heels of the school year starting and it is crunch time right now for companies and school districts who are trying to hire teachers and bus drivers. Back in June, we reported that school transportation solutions had 15 to 20 openings for bus drivers. ABC 3340's Ashley Gooden checked back in to see the progress. Ashley. Well, SCS now has 13 open bus driver positions. They have a few drivers in training right now, and that training process lasts about six weeks long. The hope is they'll have those positions filled by the end of the month. Everyone just can't be a school bus driver. They have to have that mentality to be a driver. Early mornings, late evenings. If you have what it takes, you're still needed. Since the pandemic, many drivers retired or resigned, and companies like School Transportation Solutions are doing their best to recruit new ones. It might be com combining some routes to make sure if there's a one route that might have a less amount of kids on it, we might be able to combine routes. That plan is the route Walter Turner doesn't want to take, but it's certainly an option if STS isn't able to fill all of their open school bus driver positions. Right now they've got 13 spots open, but he believes it's still possible to make things work without feeling like they're short drivers. Once we get all of the students' names and things of that nature from the school system, we might not be. So uh, that's what we're waiting on now. and. Uh, uh, we're working on that at this moment now, receiving the amount of kids. And uh, many times uh, at the very first beginning of uh, school, that many kids don't come, the full capacity don't come. So I think we have a little time. The company contracts with school systems to run their bus services. Right now they have around 90 drivers in schools all over the state. Some of those schools started as early as last week and others start as late as August 22nd. We're constantly trying to be as competitive as possible. Um, we raise salaries uh, for our drivers. We raise salaries, salaries for our monitors. We try to have the best equipment that we could have, you know, um, the, the tight buses that we have. And just the way you work with your employees, giving whatever benefits you can to try to bring in um, the right employees, because it have to be the right person. Turner says during the pandemic, when there were fewer students, it was a lot easier to shuffle drivers around. But now that most schools are at capacity, they have had to increase the number of drivers. Live in Birmingham, Ashley Gooden, ABC 3340 News.